Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome to another PyKD5 tutorial video. My name is Jay. In this video, we're going to learn how to create a dependent drop-down combo box. So here's the exercise we'll be doing in this video. So I here have a, a PyKD application. In this application, I have two drop-down combo boxes. The first drop-down is going to have a list of uh, states. So California, Illinois, and Texas. And for each state, I have another combo box that uh, populate the city names. So for example, for California, I have San Francisco, Oakland, and Los Angeles. Now if I choose a different states, so if I choose Illinois, and my city dropdown is going to get updated. So if I look at my city dropdown, I have Chicago, Springfield, Evanston. Now for Texas, I have Austin, Houston, and San Antonio. So that's basically the concept. Every time when you choose a parent item, the child dropdown is going to get updated based on the parent's value that you select. Now let me close this window and let's open a Python editor and let's get started. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to import the libraries from the Qt widgets module. I'm going to import Q application, Q widgets. Q combo box and QH box layout. From the Qt GUI module, I'm going to import the Q standard item model, Q standard item, and the Q fonts class. I'll name my application uh, class as app demo. I'll pass the QWidget class as the parent class. And here I'll create my Q applications instance. And I'll create my app demo instance. And I'll name this instance as app demo. And here I'll do app demo dash show. Now let me just run the script, just make sure that I don't have any typo. So Qt of Qt widgets. Okay, now let me continue. We need some data. So here I'm going to create a data dictionary. So our key is going to be the state names. So California. And within California, I'm going to have a list of uh, cities. So we're going to store the city list in a list. So first city will be San Francisco, Oakland, and uh, Los Angeles. Next, I have Illinois. I'll type Chicago, Springfield, and Evanston. And lastly, we have Texas. So Texas, I have Austin, Houston, and the San Antonio. San Antonio, A-N-T-O-N-I-O. -N -N now let's go back to the app demo class. I'll set my window size to fixed size. I'll set the window size to 700 and uh, by 100. I also create my main layout object. And here I'm going to just set the layout first. I'll provide the main layout object. To insert data to your combo box widget, we need to create a model first. And I'm going to type self model is equals to Q standard item model. And followed by, we're going to create our uh, combo box widgets. So first one will be states. I'll name this combo box uh, combo states. It's equals to combo box. And I'll set the uh, combo box size to 325 by 50. And I'll set the font to, uh, let's see. So I'll, I'll leave the default font name as, uh, as it is, but I will increase the font size to 12. 
And lastly, I want to set the model and followed by I'll provide the self.model object. Now I'm going to copy these five lines and I'm just going to just make a copy because uh, when we create the city combo box widgets, uh, the setup is going to be the same, except that uh, the object name is going to be from combo states to combo cities. And we also want to add those widgets to our main layer object. And combo cities. Now let me launch the window and just to make sure that, oh, so adds widgets. Now let me, let me see. Oh, so I mean another typo. Adds widgets. Now let me launch the window and to see what the appearance looks like. And here we have our drop downs. Now let me close the window. Next step is we need to add data to our combo boxes. So add data. And we're going to write a loop. So for key and the value in data.items. So key is going to be the state name and the value is going to be the, the list that associated to each state. So we're going to say that for key and value in data items, you want to create a states item first. So states is, is equals to Q standard item. Oops, Q standard item. Then we want to uh, add the states to our model. So self.model.append row, and we'll provide the states uh, Q standard item object. Here I'm going to write another loop. I'm going to say that for value in V, and V is the, the list. And I want to create my city Q standard item object first. And based on the state, I want to add the city to that state. And that's it. And last thing, want to do is want to create methods to perform the combo box update. So I'll, I'll name this method update state combo self.index. So index is going to be our parameter. We shall name this index. And here I'm going to create my index object. So from the self.model object dot index and we'll pass the index parameter and want to grab the value from the first column and also want to get the root model index so from the uh, from the state drop down so self dot root combo states dot root model index and we'll set the cities to the same uh, root model index And lastly, every time when, when I choose a different uh, state's value, I want to set the city combo box to the first uh, item. So I'll say self combo cities, and I'll set the current index to zero. And I'll grab the update state combo method, and I'll put that right here. So we'll trigger the current index change event. So every time when we choose a different value from the combo state dropdown, and this uh, this event is going to, is going to fire, and once this event fires, we want to call the update state update state combo methods. And to make sure that uh, when you initialize uh, the application. And you want to set everything to default to the uh, the first state and the first city. So we'll call the update state combo methods and we'll provide the index zero. And that's it. Now let me let me see. So let me just double check. 
Now, I'm still this good. If I save and run it, and here, oh, should be a pants row. And I don't have the, so where's my states? Let me see. Oh, I see. So this line right here, I forgot to provide the state name. So here should be K. And for the city, this should be value. Now if I save and run it. Now from our combo box, we have the states and the cities. So for California, I have San Francisco, Oakland, and Los Angeles. Now if I choose Illinois, and the and the cities drop down or combo box is going to set to the first item, which is Chicago. Then we have Springfield, Evanston. Now if I choose Texas, and we have Austin, Houston, and San Antonio. So this is everything I'm going to cover in this video. And hopefully you guys found the video useful. As always, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video.